Idiazabal is a pressed cheese made from unpasteurized sheep milk, usually from Lacha and Karanzana sheep in the Basque country in Navarre. It has a somewhat smoky flavor, but is usually unsmoked. The cheese is handmade and covered in a hard, dark brown, inedible rind. It is aged for a few months and develops a nutty, buttery flavor, eaten fresh, often with quince jam. If aged longer, it becomes firm, dry and sharp and can be used for grating. The denomination of origin for idiazable cheese was created in 1987 and defines the basic regulations for the product's manufacture. Typically, unpasteurized milk from Lacha breed of sheep is used, although in some cases the DO permits the use of milk from Caranzana breed, from the Encartaciones in Biscay. The DO also stipulates that the milk be curdled with the natural lamb rennet, and permits external smoking of the cheese. The cheeses produced in the following towns in accordance with all the DO regulations, are therefore also protected by the idiazable DO, Urbia, Enzia, Gorbia, Ordunia, Urbasa and Arailer. Recently some Basque country farmers have begun to use hybrid Ossif sheep, which some maintain does not meet the denomination of origin for the cheese. Production process Idiazable is an aged cheese, from semi-cured to cured, made exclusively from whole unpasteurized sheep's milk. It is produced by strong enzymatic coagulation. The pressed paste can be either uncooked or semi-cooked. It can eventually be externally smoked. The milk used to produce idiazable must be whole unpasteurized, with a minimum of 6% fat. The milk coagulates at a temperature of 77 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, with the addition of natural lamb curd, resulting in a compact curdle after 30 to 45 minutes. The curdle is cut in order to obtain rice size grains, and then reheated to 34 to 38 degrees Celsius 93 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In the case of coagulation at higher temperatures, the reheating temperature can reach 40 to 45 degrees Celsius 104 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The reheated and shrunken paste dehydrates and is placed in molds where it may or may not be seasoned before pressing. Salting of the cheese is performed by rubbing the rind with dry salt or immersing the cheese in highly salted water for 24 hours. Finally, the cheeses are aged under cold and humid conditions avoiding mold, for at least two months. The optional smoking takes place at the end of the aging process, using woods from the beech tree, birch tree, cherry tree or white pine. The intensity of the smoked qualities depends upon the type of wood and length of smoking. The cheeses are usually cylindrical in shape, although they are occasionally cone or octagonal shaped. The rinds of artisan cheeses may be engraved with drawings or symbols characteristic of the Basque culture. The rind is closed, smoked, waxy, without mold. The unsmoked cheeses have a yellow-beige color, while smoked cheeses are brownish. The interior is compact, without air pockets or with only pin head size holes, and is beige or pale yellow in color. The interior of the smoked cheeses has a brownish border. The taste is strong and pronounced, slightly acidic and piquant, buttery and consistent, with a characteristic sheep milk flavor. The smoked version is somewhat drier and stronger, with a pleasant aroma. The size of every cheese ranges from small to medium, with weights between 2 and 4 pounds 0.91 and 1.81 kilograms. See also Asao Arati